Let us take a look at the types of patience we have. There are three major types of sabr that we as Muslimin are taught. The first is the endurance required in order to fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is the restraint required in order to abstain from the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third is the acceptance of the decree of the Almighty when calamity comes in our direction. So these are the three types of patience. A lot of people think that only the third one is known as sabr. That when something happens, they say, bear sabr, my dear brother, bear sabr, my dear sister. No, the reality is in order to read salah, you need a lot of sabr. You need to really endure the cold water, possibly the time, or you need to give up your sleep. In order to abstain from backbiting, you need to restrain yourself. That is also known as sabr. So this is known as sabr, that is also known as sabr. And in order to accept the decree of Allah Almighty, that is also known as sabr, when you can be happy with whatever Allah has decreed. Islam is the only religion, the only religion, and this is a gift for all of us. Islam is the only religion that makes it necessary as a condition of belief. If you would like to be a Muslim, that you need to declare that I bear witness and I believe firmly that good and bad faith is from the Almighty. His decree is final and I am always happy with it and I will not compete with it. If we don't believe that, we are not mu'minin. Haven't we said, وَالْقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى We believe that good and bad faith comes from the Almighty. So Islam helps us to live because this whole life is a test. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises us that He will test us. And already in advance, we have declared that we will never compete with the decree of the Almighty. We believe that He is in command. We will play our role and the rest we will leave in the hands of the Almighty. Whatever He then decides to do, we will surrender to it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never make us from those who question His decree and who question His power and His independence and the fact that He is in supreme control. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how important it is for us to understand that sabr also includes to persevere as well as to endure when it comes to engaging in acts of worship. Listen to what he says in Surah Maryam. He says, Indeed, he is the Rabb. He is the Lord of the skies and the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whatever is between the two. So worship him and endure and persevere and continue and bear sabr when you are worshiping him. Have you ever heard of anyone equal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way? That's a question that Allah is asking. Do you know of anyone who is equal to Allah in any way? No. The highest is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the highest anyone could ever get to. But he is not Allah. Nor is he equivalent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is in, on the next level. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us acceptance and understanding.